Hi, my name is Kay Tai, and I'm an associate professor at the Pickauer Institute for Learning and Memory in the Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences at MIT. My lab is interested in understanding the neural circuit mechanisms of emotional valence processing. How do we know if something is good or bad? Obviously, seeking reward and avoiding punishments in the environment is critical to survival. For example, um, if the only way that I could learn to be afraid of getting hit by a car was to actually get hit by a car, this might not bode well for the future of my species. We knew from previous research that two regions, the anterior cingulate cortex, or ACC, and the amygdala, are important and necessary for observational learning in both humans as well as rodents. We also knew that these two regions were connected with each other. However, there were many unanswered questions. To begin answering these questions, we designed a paradigm in which one mouse who had previously experienced one foot shock observed a familiar demonstrator mouse undergo classical cue fear conditioning through a transparent perforated divider allowing for the observation of auditory, visual, and olfactory information. We found that they had learned to freeze to the cue even though they never actually experienced the shock happening with the cue. So the next thing we did was to utilize the power of optogenetics, which allows us to control the activity of neurons in the brain with specific wavelengths of light, as well as electrophysiology to record from a specific circuit in the brain of observer mice during observational conditioning. We found that in the observer mice, ACC neurons that project to the amygdala responded to the cues that predict shock to another mouse. A higher percentage of ACC neurons that sent projections to the amygdala encoded cues learned through observation when compared to other ACC neurons. So this made us think that perhaps these neurons might be communicating critical socially derived information about the cue to the amygdala. So we recorded in the amygdala and used optogenetics to inhibit the ACC input to the amygdala during some of the cues. We found that some amygdala neurons that under normal conditions would respond to the cue stopped responding to the cue when we took away the ACC input. This led us to wonder whether this ACC information was actually necessary for animals to be able to learn through observation. We again utilized our optogenetic toolkit to inhibit ACC input to the amygdala, but this time we did it during all of the cues. We found that observer mice no longer learned through observation. This gave us our evidence that the amygdala needed this ACC information during the cue in order for animals to learn. Could it be that this is because the ACC is important for integrating social information and routing it to the amygdala in order to help shape behavior? If so, then inhibiting the ACC input to the amygdala during social interaction would lead to some impairment in social behavior. Well, that's exactly what we found. Animals showed deficits in social behavior when the ACC couldn't send information to the amygdala. So what does all of this mean? Our experiments suggest that the ACC, anterior cingulate cortex, is a critical hub for taking social information, making sense of it, and routing it to the amygdala to help shape behaviors that require social information. Social behaviors are a critical part of the behavior repertoire of humans and other social animals. The generation of culture and the structure and function of society are dependent on social norms and behaviors such as empathy and altruism. Through combining optogenetics, electrophysiology, and rodent behavioral paradigms, we take a fascinating psychological phenomenon and provide the basis for a mechanistic circuit level understanding of this behavior that is so critical for animal survival.